So, how long does your laptop last? 15 minutes? 20 minutes? Half an hour? One hour? Two hours? Four hours? Well, how about 24 hours? HP just released its HP Elite Dragonfly group of notebooks which are capable of providing you battery life from anywhere around its 16 hours to 24.5 hours. Interesting, isn't it? Not just with that, these laptops will be coming in two different configurations as far as processors are concerned. One of those configurations will feature Core i5 V Pro while the other will feature Core i7 V Pro processors from the Intel side. These two laptops will come in two different variations as far as battery life is concerned. The lighter of the two laptops which is slightly lighter than 1 kg will provide you battery life from anywhere around 16 hours to 18 hours. On the other hand, the laptop on the heavier side which is actually a little bit heavier than 1 kg is going to provide you battery life from anywhere around 22 hours to 24.5 hours. HP representatives are saying that they have created this laptop to cater to a very specific audience which are business professionals and CEOs because their battery life and performance is at the topmost priority. Not just that, these laptops will come with an internal storage of 2 TB and RAM of up to 16 GB. These laptops will be convertible and can be rotated up to 360 degrees. And one of the best features about these laptops is going to be that they are going to feature Wi-Fi 6 which is said to be much more stable, secure and reliable than the previous versions of Wi-Fi. These laptops, given the audience they are going to cater, is going to have a SIM card slot for 4G LTE connectivity. These laptops are set to give good competition to previous successful lineups in the same audience such as Dell XPS 13 and the discontinued MacBook owing to the various factors that these laptops are bringing on to the table. Now let's go ahead and see how these laptops are going to fare against the competition. Now, let's go ahead and talk about Microsoft and AMD. It seems Microsoft is now turning its head towards AMD to power some of its Surface lineup products. From the beginning of time when Microsoft has released the Microsoft Surface products, it has always looked over onto Intel to power its products. Well, that happened because there are various different parameters where Intel was always top on AMD. On the top of my head, there are two different factors such as power delivery and power delivery subsystems which were inherently better in Intel which led Microsoft to use Intel products in its Surface lineup. It seems things are changing now since with the release of Ryzen 3000 series, Ryzen or AMD have now matched Intel if not surpassed in all of different various parameters which Microsoft wants in its products. So it is too early to assume that all of the Microsoft Surface products will be powered by AMD's chips but we can safely assume that there are going to be certain refresh models that will have AMD's CPU in them. For example, if rumors are to be believed, Microsoft Lab Surface Laptop 2 is going to have a refreshed model with AMD's new hardware and with a 15 inch variant. On the other hand, if we also believe some other rumors that we have been hearing, Microsoft Surface Pro 6 and Microsoft Surface Book 2 are also going to have refreshed models with AMD's new hardware in them. It is also worth mentioning that at the Microsoft Surface event that is going to be held on October 2, we may be seeing a new device with a dual screen for Microsoft which Microsoft has named Project Centaurus to be unveiled on that particular particular event. So let's just go ahead and keep our eyes open for that as well. So what kind of car do you drive? Diesel? Petrol? Electric? What if I told you by the end of next decade we may possibly be seeing hydrogen fueled cars over onto the road? Can you believe it? Well some of the biggest economies in Asia are believing it namely China, Japan and South Korea are investing billions of dollars in trying to put millions of hydrogen fueled cars or fuel cell cars or FCVs over onto the road. The interest in FCVs has diminished because with the coming up of electrical vehicles such as Tesla Roadster and Tesla Semis, it is proved that electrical vehicles can push the boundaries which previously were thought 
to be roadblocks now these electrical vehicles are promising something that people want in the very near future the interest in fcvs has diminished because it is not a immediate probability or possibility that people can have but there are proponents of fcvs who are saying that if sufficient interest is put into fcvs we may see the cleanest energy source that automobiles have received it till now so there are of course skeptics who are saying that this can't be done or it can't be done as early as people are propagating it to be but everything seems impossible until it's done let's go ahead and see how things progress when it comes to fcvs pixel 4 pixel 4 pixel 4 the internet is riddled with leaks about Pixel 4. Sometimes people are speculating something about Pixel 4. Then there are different kinds of rumors from different kinds of users that are coming about Pixel 4. Sometimes Google itself is releasing all kinds of leaks. Well, this time it's Google itself who has leaked one more essential detail about the Pixel 4, which people have been speculating from long back. Google has just now very creatively leaked the information that Pixel 4 actually is going to have a very different color from what it has been producing in the past. Pixel 4 is going to come in a coral colored flavor that was confirmed by Google by putting a big banner ad on New York City's Times Square. The banner read, Hey Google, set me a reminder of October 15, which is precisely the date when Pixel 4 are going to be released. I very recently created a blog post culminating and compiling all the kinds of leaks that we have been seeing about Pixel 4 and I have compiled them in a post. I will leave a, leave a link to that in the description so that you can just go ahead and see what are the various different kinds of leaks that have happened and what are the various different kinds of confirmed reports that have happened regarding Pixel 4. So just go ahead, read that if that is something that you are interested in. But it seems till the point we see Pixel 4 in our hands, we may almost be having all kinds of information about Pixel 4 just like we had when Pixel 3 was going to be released. So let's just go ahead and prepare ourselves for October 15. Talking about smartphones, Samsung has just released M30s and M10s in India. M30s and M10s are upgraded versions of Galaxy M30 and M10. When we talk about Galaxy M30s, the upgrades that we are seeing when compared with M30 are the massive 6000 milliampere battery and 48 megapixel triple camera setup. When we talk about Galaxy M10s, what we are going to see is again a big 4000 milliampere hour battery a dual camera setup and a fingerprint sensor. These devices will be available in Amazon India and Samsung eStore. Apart from these two models, Samsung also released a second model of M30 which will come in a 3GB plus 32GB variant. When it comes to pricing, M30s will be priced around $39.99 for the base variant and $16.999 for the 6GB plus 120GB variant. M10s on the other hand will be priced at 899 INR for the 3GB and 32GB storage configuration and as of now there are no other variants that are announced for M10s. So with that said guys these were the hot news when it comes to the tech world as far as today was concerned. Stay in tune and we will be looking at various different kinds of technology news again in the next edition of Tectonics. Till then guys I hope you take good care of yourselves and I am going to see you again very very soon. Namaskar.